All right, guys, so the trailer finally taken so fucking long to come out, guys. I mean, man, really? But I understand why, because they didn't want the they didn't want this trailer overshadowing the Avengers Endgame trailer, and they didn't want uh, the Avengers Endgame trailer overshadowing this. So I get that that that's why this is taking so long. But as promised, as I said in my trailer reactions for Captain Marvel uh, trailer two, and my uh, reaction to the uh, first trailer for End Endgame, as I promised in those trailer reactions, I will. Uh, I said I would react to the trailer for Far From Home. It's come out. Here we are. So, I don't have that much to say. I'm just going to get right into this because I love um, Spider-Man. Um, as I've made ab abundantly clear so many times before. Um, anyway, I just have to do one thing. I have to turn the volume down because it is a little bit late as of me recording this video. I don't know if I turned that down too much. I don't know. Anyway, um... We're just going to get into this. Oh, I can't wait. Let's fucking... Let's do this shit! Thank you, Spider-Man! That was so good. Hey, sorry I'm late. Happy. You look nice. Thank you. You too. Thank you. New dress? Yes, it is. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Planning a trip? Mm hmm. Going to Europe. It's a school trip. Did you get your passport? Peter Parker here to pick up a passport, please. Mini toothpaste? Mm hmm. Pack your suit. I just want to go on my trip with my friends. Europe doesn't really need a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. You look really pretty. And therefore, I have value. No, no, that's not I'm right. I'm messing with you. <laughs> you look pretty, too. I just want to spend some time with MJ. I think she really likes me, dude. That reminds me when I first fell in love. I had just finished my food call. Fury, huh? So nice to finally meet you, Spider-Man. You're Nick Fury. Put some clothes on. Let's go for a ride. Is he going to be OK like that? Might want to turn him over so he doesn't swallow his tongue. I think Nick Fury just hijacked our summer vacation. Awesome! We got gifts, Parker, but we have a job to do. Are you going to step up or not? You're all alone. When your friends are in trouble. What are you gonna do about it? You don't want any part of this. Put the fucking fishbowl head on, yeah! He's like Iron Man and Thor rolled into one. He's no Spider-Man. What is it with you and Spider-Man? What, he looks out for the neighborhood, has a dope suit, and I really respect him. Sup, dickwad? There's no clue. That is just like the Flash from the cartoons that I've seen. I mean, I've, I haven't read Spider-Man comics, but that's just like the Flash from the frickin' spectacular cartoon. Like, where he's like, uh... Sorry, the mic's down here. I should be up here. Where, uh... The fl uh, where Flash... Is like, hey, I really respect Spider-Man, but fuck you, Parker. And hey, he's Spider-Man. Anyway, I just, I just love how well they're doing Flash uh, Thompson in this, in, in, in Tom Holland Spider-Man. Um, that was great. I'm definitely gonna have to watch it again, and again, and again, and again. Um, but seeing Jake Gyllenhaal as, uh, Quentin Beck for the first time. That's going to take some getting used to. I mean, he is perfect for the role. He looks like Quentin Beck, okay? So I'm not saying he, he's going to do a bad job, but... Or he is doing a bad job, but it's going to get... It's going to take a little bit of getting used to because Jake Gyllenhaal, to my knowledge, has never, ever been in a superhero movie up until this point in any shape or form as a villain or hero. As far as I know, this is his first superhero movie that he's ever been in, right? So... After seeing him in so many 
fantastic movies like Prisoners, Nightcrawler, and a bunch of other movies that you can probably name off that are all really good. It's going to take some time getting used to seeing such a great actor in a superhero movie because he... He he's he he has become famous for not being in superhero movies, which I think is actually quite a feat to be that famous and not have played a part in any superhero movie. I think that's uh quite a feat. But um, first superhero movie that he's been in, I I think he's going to do a good job. I mean, there's no doubt. It's freaking Jake Gyllenhaal. If you don't know he's a good actor, then you're obviously missing out on him. Um, but everything else as a trailer, man. Looks fucking amazing! I can't wait, and I dug, I dug the bo- the two suits that I saw him in. Here's my question though, and this is what was I was I've been thinking about um uh, ever since the End Game trailer came out, and ever since they said that we were going to get this trailer uh, before Avengers End Game. Depending on how Avengers End Game will end, how does that affect Far From Home? Like I was thinking. This is just purely me, okay? So it's not confirmed or anything. It's just my theory. My theory of how Avengers Endgame will leave the MCU uh, is um, there'll be like a lot of retcon, a lot of retconning. So they will get a hold of the the Infinity Gauntlet, um, either repair it or whatever, I don't really know. But the Avengers will get a hold of the uh, Infinity Gauntlet fix everything, but at the same time, that will sort of reset the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It'll change some things in the timeline so that some characters never made it to the future, like Captain America, uh, never woke up in the in current time, Thor never comes to Earth, la di da da all that stuff. Um, Tony Stark never becomes Iron Man, all that stuff. So what I'm thinking <laughs> is that that is a possibility of how Avengers Endgame might leave the MCU, right? Um, I, that's not confirmed. That's just my theory, okay? That, that's probably the biggest theory that I have concerning Avengers Endgame. So, I don't know. I don't know how Avengers Endgame... Like, from this trailer, I can't see any way... I can't see any uh, long-lasting effect that Endgame would have on this movie. I can't see anything like that in the trailer, which is good because of... I'm guessing that uh, Endgame will have a massive effect on when we go to see End- uh, Far From Home. So, anyway, um, that is my thoughts on this trailer. Um, like and comment uh, if you liked the video and subscribe for more videos. Um, and check out uh, a recent a recent video that I just released called My Blu-ray Collection. Um, man, that was a fucking long video. Took ages to edit. And uh, in the end, I'm proud of it. I mean, whatever. I mean, it's just a video. You don't have to watch it if you don't want to, but check it out because I did put a lot of work into it. Um, But man, I'm excited for Far From Home. Can't wait to see it. Um, So I guess I'll see you in my review for Spider-Man Far From Home. Also, just want to quickly add that I, that I may or may not review the previous Spider-Man films leading up to the... I, may, I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I might.